Are you single currently? Are you and Becky still as close as you thought you would be in the beginning when you first broke up? Yes. And we're close. That is literally my cat. How are you coping with ending such intense relationships so close together? Um, I don't know. I don't know. What's making you the happiest at the moment? Hmm. I guess the relationship, relationships that I have with certain, certain people, that's what's making me the happiest. change the alarm yeah we have to call the maintenance to do that we have to call the maintenance who's we i don't know that's just like out of habit because becky's still on the lease so i think just naturally i say we you guys have to realize that this is very new for me i love that yeah i did we did oh, the fire alarm is off the wall i want to go to home goods like hardcore because <laughs> what the heck was that i'm leaving i there's an actual ghost so um now that i live by myself and Becky doesn't live here. Like I have a whole ass extra room and like all mine, like things are gonna be a little bit different. So would you flirt if a guy slid in the DMs? Yeah. Uh, listen, I'm single, I'm confused. And that's that. Do you think rebounds are fun or bad for mental? It can be fun, but it's also like, okay, give yourself some time to heal. And I know I'm like kind of being a hypocrite. I, okay, I don't think I rebounded when I was talking to that person, but it was, you know, some people could look at it like that, but it definitely was not that, I'm just saying. Like, I feel like with rebounds, like you're searching for it. It doesn't like find you. I think it will help to clear the wifey narrative once and for all and put it behind you. At this point, I feel like people just keep speculating about it for the sake of it. Yeah, that whole thing has been an absolute mess. I personally hate everything that happened regarding that whole thing and I do not want to talk about it. Like the fact that people are so crazy and they continue to think that I'm still in a relationship with this person is frustrating because it's not true. I am very much single and I do have friends over. So when you see a shadow or you see someone's foot or you hear someone breathing next to me, you know, I'm not by myself 24 seven. That would be, I feel like I would go crazy. That'd be kind of crazy. When I do get into another relationship, I'm going to be very hush hush about it. Obviously I'll probably mention it just for the sake of like, I'm not, okay. <laughs> this is going to sound so bad. I'm not tooting my horn, but like I do get a lot of messages of people like, Hey, I'll take you on a date or this and that, blah, blah, blah. Um, so if I get into a relationship, I want to make it known because like, I don't want people to be messaging me those things. So. is a person in my life that I do trust more than I've trusted like anyone, which is a new feeling for me. And I'm not sure like how to navigate that feeling because it is very different. Do you have any plans for this weekend? I do. Um, hanging out with someone. <laughs> a new boo moment. Yes, it's a new boo moment. Guys, we all know she won't talk about wifey. She's never going to address wifey unless she gets caught on camera by accident or something. Until then, it's just the cat changing the fire alarm battery and a friend driving her around. Wifey no longer exists. Wifey is a thing in the past. We do still talk. I am dating someone. I remember I told you guys that I was talking to someone. Now we have officially started dating and they are local. So they're here a lot of the time. Uh, the fire alarm and the friend driving me around. You guys have to realize like I'm not alone 24 seven. Like if I was alone all the time, I would go literally insane. I have friends, I have people in my life. Speculation regarding anything is just crazy. Just accept that I do have a girlfriend now. Will I be showing her on camera? No, I just feel like right now the safest thing to do is just don't talk about my relationship but i just think there is a fine line between things that i should share and things that i shouldn't share i'm just kind of tired of bringing people on my channel and them like getting their life ruined it creates an uncomfortable dynamic between me and the person this has happened quite a few times in the past i feel like i want to do everything i can to protect the people i care about how did you meet your current girlfriend and who asked who to make it official we met online and she asked me why do you still have the green roses that wifey gave you? Why would I get rid of infinity roses? Something that I have wanted for so long. I can't think of a single reason. I don't know how to get all this in here. <laughs> so this is my girlfriend. <laughs> this is my girlfriend, <laughs> baby. Okay, so it's time for the weigh-in. It is January 20th. But my girlfriend has moved in. She is on the lease. Girlfriend has moved in. She's been moved in for a little bit now, but it's like official, official. I'm in a monogamous relationship because I will never be in a poly relationship. Like, I don't want to share the person I love, like, at all. And I know my girlfriend doesn't want to share me. So right now, we are making dinner. Well, let's be real. <laughs> I'm not cooking nothing. These are turkey meatballs. The sauce is a homemade sauce that she's making. It's like a honey garlic type of situation. 
So I'm pretty excited. So this is my girlfriend's closet. Here are some of her shoes. And then here are her like Jordans, which are my fave. So we got some new chairs uh, that Feline put together and we don't have them on the porch yet, but here's Rarity over here. Already claiming it as her own. You ready to go, Feline? While I was there, they noticed I was short of breath by walking just like a short distance. And while they did the CT scan, they did it, they did like automatically notice something wrong with my lungs. So they actually called the radiologist um, immediately. And this is a an amazing hospital. So like everything is like in the same area like everything is attached to everything if that makes sense i don't know i've never seen a hospital like it um feline was like dang this is bougie i'm like i know that's why i always come here that's why I, this is my go-to like i love it it's where i had my hysterectomy it's where my oncologist is at least i have this baby yeah look at her i know She's so sweet. At least I have all three of my babies, you know? I don't know if you guys just heard Feline, but she said, all four. <laughs> like, it didn't come out. <laughs> you good over there? So Feline kindly went in to uh, schedule my appointment. Feline, who the hell is Feline? So my name's Amber Lynn. Feline says, that's not your government. Your name is Amber. So Feline started calling me Ambi, which then turned into Bambi. And Bambi falls in love with Feline. So this is from the movie Bambi. It's a Disney movie. I'm sure everyone's heard of it. But uh, Bambi and Feline fall in love. She just started calling me Bambi and I started calling her Feline. And the whole wifey thing is just so oh, over it. <laughs> like, at first it was funny, it was cute, it was quirky. But then we both started hating it. Or it was mainly me. Like, she didn't give a care. But I was like, I don't like this whole wifey thing. Like, I don't... But y'all... I just gave into it because that's what you guys called her. So I said, fine, I'm just gonna cave and I'm just gonna join in because you know, I did start it. And then it's like constantly saying my girlfriend, you guys were getting annoyed with that. And I was kind of getting annoyed with it. So I was like, wifey, 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 because that's just like what you guys knew her by and what you guys were calling her. So I was like, fine. But then I realized like, I hate it. So I was like, okay, well I call her Feline. So why don't I just start doing that on YouTube too? So yeah, it's just Bambi and Feline. They fall in love. Uh, they're cute little deers. I don't know. It's just like a cute little thing that we do. So um, now you guys are part of the inside edition. I don't know what that meant. Wow, I have been talking for so long.